Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be traveling all the way back to 1980 to listen to Sail Away, Sweet Sister by the Amazing Queen. This one comes from the album The Game, their eighth studio album, and their best-selling album in the United States. It's written by Brian May and features Brian on lead vocals, with the bridge being sung by Freddie. Uh, Queen never performed it live. Interesting. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button, as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community, where it's all amazing music all the time. Here we go. Hey, little babe, you're changing. Babe, are you feeling so? Play no more. It's plain that you ain't no baby. What would your mother say? You're all dressed up like a lady. How come you behave this way? Sail away, sweet sister. Sail across the sea. Maybe you'll find somebody. Love you have to touch me. Okay, nice. Of course, I love the acoustic piano introduction. Beautiful. Always nice to hear Brian May on lead vocals. I know he doesn't sing too many lead vocals, maybe 20 or less, 15. I looked at the list yesterday, but it's interesting. He has the intensity and the emotion of Freddie, but with a softer, lighter presentation, if that makes sense. That's kind of how I see it. Uh, fits with their music just as well as Freddie, just in a whole different way. I also love the stereo effect that was added to his voice on the chorus for more impact. You know, obviously very common, especially back then. Uh, very sad, reflective melodies with that piano, guitar, 
and even the vocals, especially in the verses. Really enjoyed that. Pretty catchy chorus, but for some reason I didn't connect so much with this chorus. Uh, you just never know how music's going to hit you. But I enjoyed it as a whole. Um, I really love the bridge, of course. We get Freddie coming in with those amazing falsettos. Spectacular as always. Um, full, rich, many-person harmonies going on. Always top-tier backing vocals with this group. I know Brian's contributing, and I think Roger is as well. Again, they know how to perfect and craft the most amazing harmonies and backing vocals of any band, really. At first, I kind of thought the whole tone of the song is, you know, sad. Of course, it's a sad topic, but later on when hearing more of the choruses, I actually see that the choruses are pretty hopeful. So that's an interesting back and forth to show the struggle, the emotions, the sadness, and hope that he's going through. Uh, but from the 80% mark to the end, you know what I'm about to say. My favorite section by Miles Absolutely gorgeous. I love the piano, bass, and cymbal work uh, combined with those ocean waves, which I think represented the sweet sister being an ocean apart from him. Just pure musical beauty in the last 30 seconds or so. Amazing. Maybe it was a minute. All right, let's talk about the lyrics. To me, it's about a girl he grew up with and shared many formative experiences with. Now they are adults and she's leaving far away. He professes that he will never stop loving her and will always be there if she wants to return to him. True, unconditional love. Yeah, so a nice, pleasant Queen song, still filled with emotion. I just wish I would have connected with it in its entirety a bit more, but I'm going to rate it three golden records, a B-score for Sail Away Sweet Sister by Queen, 1980. Thank you so much, Brian May, Freddie Mercury, Roger Taylor, and John Deacon. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you wish to chat about this song. I would love to know what you think about it. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past.